So we, we actually, we're unconscious. Yeah. And, and when we're unconscious, we've checked out. Mm. And when we've checked out, the subconscious has taken over. And the subconscious mind is just the storehouse of all your habits. But like, speak from your heart. Mm. And, and whatever happens, happens. But like, this is who I am. Yeah. I was like, I was just hungry for growth, you know what I mean? And yeah. change. And that healthy egoic identity for me is 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 someone who takes. I enjoyed that. Just talking. How's yours going? Podcasting. Yeah, yeah. It's not at the minute, actually. Pause there. Yeah, I um, focus has just been elsewhere. You know, I um, I've got a nice little station. Got some great conversations. I've got some. Uh, I've got some really good conversations lined up. It's a, it just hasn't been like a, a massive priority of mine, especially like um, probably since the summer last year. Yeah, yeah. I um, you know, I had a big um, big end to the year last year. I run like a mentorship program. Yeah, yeah. In Liverpool, and that was like a big three month journey. And then um, and then there was another big three month mentorship program at the start of the year. Mm. And then I've been to Peru, and you know, just come back from another retreat in uh, in Skipton. So the, the the sort of time and energy hasn't been there, mm. you know, um, but it's it, it's something that I'm going to pick back up for sh- for sure. Yeah, you know, it's, it's powerful, isn't it? Ah, just like conversations, you know, we're telling stories, and I've been inspired by podcasts for many years. I remember, mm. like, I remember actually starting to listen to podcasts probably like 2014, you know, yeah, 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 2000, like really early on. I remember London Real was like my Ah, yeah, my yeah, go-to yeah. and and like years ago you know brian rose he, mm. he was a bit like this you know what i mean he's with his mates <laughs> and they were talking about plant medicine oh well and um yeah th- th- it just like really captured my attention um and then i also used to listen to a podcast called uh Buddha at the gas pump I haven't heard it. um a guy called rick archer okay from uh, from america yeah i think he's done don't quote me on this one but i think he's done nearly up to a thousand Wow. Interviews, and um, he, he interviews a lot of like really influential sort of, um, you could say modern day mystics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so the theme is uh, is very much around like awakening and, mm. um, uh, you know, non duality and meditation and mm. um, awareness. You know, all that kind of stuff. And like, I was hooked. I I actually you know probably did a podcast every day for like. Phew, yeah. Yeah. I was I was hungry for it, especially like around two thousand and I opened up a yoga studio in two thousand and thirteen, and mm. th- there was just a massive new container for me. And that container was like you know well being, yeah, yeah. personal development, you know yoga, meditation. And so I was you know I suppose like uh, you know nowadays it's really trendy. I was mm. probably a little bit ahead of the curve, yeah, yeah, you know. And um, and and I came across like Buddha at the gas pump. And I was just chewing them up, you know what I mean? And, and listening to these conversations that I was having so much resonance with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and, and, and having these people come on and, and share their direct experience. And it was things that I'd been experiencing, um, you know, already in the practice of meditation or mm. just, I was changing. I'd gone from like a, you know, being um, a bit of a party boy, yeah, yeah. you know, a tennis coach tennis through, coach, me, yeah. through me twenties. Um, got to like 27 and I couldn't hit another tennis ball. I was like, I was done. I'd played tennis since I was five. And um, I, I knew there was something else for me. Mm. And I just naturally, like, stepped away from the tennis court um, and, 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 and moved in a new direction. And, and I was just, I went into the unknown. I didn't really have much of an idea of what I wanted to do next. Mm. Um, but I just took a brave move, stepped away. And, um, yeah, I took some time out. And then upon reflection, you know, was in a place of contemplation. I was asking some big questions of myself. Mm. That was like, and I actually, you know, come out of Liverpool. I went, I went to Thailand. Mm. I spent some time away, and, and that was just a really nourishing experience. I, I sort of went from this like realm of time, this linear experience, you know, this like push and doing, yeah, yeah. And, and to just a space of being, and and it was timeless. It was spontaneous. It was like it was magic, you know. Oh. And then, um, and so th- th- that gave me like it was like a, um, uh, like a. a, a a, a, a time in my life that I, I was just resting the soul. I was really tired. Mm. I'd, I'd, I'd like burnt the candle at every which end you could burn it, you know, mm. yeah, yeah, <laughs> through yeah. the 20s. Um, and, and then, you know, like 2013, 14, you know, opening up a yoga studio. 
and then being in a completely holistic container. Yeah. Which for me was just like a, a almost like a sweet shop. I was really, really, um, you know, um, I was really lucky. Mm. You know, I mean, we, we we certainly we we found the sweet spot. There wasn't much yoga in you know in South Liverpool at the time, and and there and it was very lo- lo- looking back, it was very synchronistic, and it was meant to be. Yeah. Um. And and once that unfolded, you know, it was just like this container of yoga. I did so much yoga. You know, I did like I spent a couple of years. I was probably doing like three hours a day. Wow. For like a couple of years, I was I was I was addicted to it, and um and just being on that mat. And, and, and going through that process and being guided by some incredible teachers as well. Mm. Just give me an opportunity to like begin to really understand myself. Yeah. And I mean, understand my personality, you know, like turning the gaze back on myself as well. And I remember coming across a term self-realization in 2013 and I was drawn to it. I was like, what's that? Self-realization. What's that? You know, and, 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 and I really went after like this internal landscape for many years and using, you know, the container of yoga, really started to lean into many different modalities of meditation. And then I was reading books on, you know, on um, all matters related, you know, a lot of esoteric concepts. Mm-hmm. Um, I was studying the high achievers. I was like, I was just hungry for growth, you know what I mean? And yeah. change. Um, and, and within that, you know, there was a lot of workshops, seminars, there was more travel. Uh, teacher training, mm. um, you know, and and yeah, I was just I was, I was I was really hungry for it, and it was like I was in it. I, it was thick and fast for many years, and um, and and it sort of stabilized over a period of time. So you know, coming back to the podcasts, I you know, Buddha at the gas pump that was a go to for me, yeah, yeah. and um, it really a lot. It, it, what it did was it didn't just educate me, but it gave me some signposts. Mm. You know what I mean? It gave me some, you know, reference points to understand like what was happening to me because mm. change is difficult. Hundred percent. You know, and and I was like, you know, shedding skin, mm. peeling off the layers, and um, and and I always, I never doubted my experience, but it was uncomfortable. Mm. You know, and 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 you know, it was also uncomfortable for people in and around my own culture. Yeah, yeah. Because they, you know, struggled to accept that there was a shift for me or a change. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, the, and they wanted, like, this old, you know, version of me. Because yeah. um, you're a lot of energy, man. Like, you're a good energy, right? Thank and, you. And I, you know that. Like, I, I, like, as soon as I met you, mate, when we met in Liverpool, sorry to interrupt, mm. but, like, I was, like, hooked on this guy. We went to that pub, that restaurant. Uh, yeah, um, you, Albert Schloss. Yeah, me, you, yeah. Steve, and your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> she Old slept. She was, I think she was well. Yeah, she was chilled, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm hooked on this guy. <laughs> I like just the energy you brought, right? Mm. So I can imagine, you know, the possibly the party boy Martin as well was a great energy too. Yeah. So that transition from that stage to this stage, like, hey, hang on, what's yeah. he up to, you know? So. Yeah, what's going on here? Like, and, and again, I, I loved, um, I, I loved partying. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I loved, I, and I think underneath that, what I really love is <laughs> celebration. Mm. You know what I mean? I love people. You know, I, I'm 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 in love with the world. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, I, I think I used the dance floor as as a, as a wonderful container to like not just express myself and to feel a level of liberation and freedom. Mm. Um, I also on that dance floor always felt really close to myself. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I felt really grounded. I wasn't so in in the head. I wasn't, you know, uh, projecting, mm. predicting a possible future. You trying to work things out. So it was just it allowed me to be. And upon reflection, you know, really looking back, it was. It, it's like, you know, yoga class or, mm. you know, um, or meditation. It was like a permission slip for me to just relax into myself and rest in that nature. Um, but there was a sell-by date on that as well, you know what I mean? You know, I still like getting on my feet on the dance floor yeah, now and yeah, then, yeah. but, you know, I have to pick them battles. <laughs> <you know? laughs> um, I think for many years I didn't see a Sunday for like probably yeah. 10 years, you know. Um, <laughs> so it, that was like, I, I think, you know, growing up in Liverpool and, and also, you know, being a tennis coach, I think um, I was very fortunate because I just, I've always, I did what I loved. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I did what I loved. Um, and that may have been a bit inflated at some at certain times, you know, and some selfish tendencies and I may have hurt some people along the way. Um, but, you know, life was my playground. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I, and we learn as we go. Yeah, yeah. We definitely do. And I know I have. And, um, and so sort of coming away from them containers, um, 
and 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 exploring you know n- n- new 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 modalities and yeah. new opportunities. I also like meeting new people. Yeah, it's powerful. Yeah, I just you know I'm 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 really inspired. It's a big value of mine of like just meeting people. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 getting under the skin with people. It's powerful that you know because when you, for instance tennis background right you're so used to a certain type of you know the conversation before you even start realistically yeah. how you're doing yeah good how's training being x y and z you know yeah. and then you come across someone else that's hit you from a different angle or such mm. like, oh i like that and we're very emotion based yeah right? so we're very much if that's new but it feels good you gotta you gotta you're drawn to that now yeah it's absolutely like, it's like a, someone's bit you on the arm or like you got that itchy you know that itchy bite yeah you just gotta keep you gotta go it. for it yeah. like it i think we're natural explorers all of us you know and I know I'm a big adventurer, and um, and within that, I um, I was always inspired to like, not just you know I suppose, understand and and you know understand the world. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, and then within that, I always tried to understand myself. And the more I've gone into that space, it's allowed me to understand others more. Mm. So my you know the the, the sense of compassion has really improved in my life because this sense of like understanding me gives me an opportunity to understand others. Mm. And yeah, I've always been inspired to just like listen, you know, listen to other people's stories and and um, and and resonance. I love resonance, you know what I mean. But I, I think I, for as long as I can remember, I've always been very open minded as well. Mm. I'm not sure where that comes from. Um, I've I've certainly unpicked that in therapy. You know, I have a therapist, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been able to unpick some stuff in therapy, which you know, it helps me to understand why I am mm. who I am, or who or why Martin behaves in a certain way. You know. Um. So yeah, like, just just always being in love with life, love connecting yeah. with people. Um. And and yeah, it's 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 been it's been a pleasure, and and I've had some amazing times. You know, yeah. like I've been very fortunate to travel the world. You know, party. Um. You know, I had a great job. I worked in a in a professional. You know, setting with in, in David Lloyd as a tennis coach, and then just like you know, there was just this new chapter. And when we opened up Planet Yoga, which is the yoga studio in Liverpool. Uh, in 2013 that was just like oh yeah it was just like a, it was like a brand new island I'd never mm. been on you know what I mean but it was full of possibility yeah and I didn't even know back then like you know actually what it was going to bring my life do you know what I mean the the, the fruits yeah. of that decision um you know I mean it was never an easy ride mm. you know because when you do begin to look at yourself and um and, and when you're running a, a, a a business yeah you know you're a caretaker you know we're, we're the one with the keys so we've got to take care of, of of the people who come to the studio so it, we've had so many ups and downs um i want to say we it's like me and my father you know he was he, he was like the um do the half of, of of the business okay um and yeah and 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 how that's like crystallized over a period of time is you know it's 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 just been a, a wonderful yoga studio which has brought me so much um, it's just brought me so much education, wow. so so much transformation, and um, and yeah, like and and it, and within that, like I, I I met my partner. We've got a child, um, you know, and 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 it was it was it's been it's been amazing because so many people just came to me. Yeah. I had this yoga studio, and like all these people mm-hmm. that you know, mm-hmm. who, who, I mean, typically people who come to a yoga studio, you know, they, they can be a little bit more. Um, Open minded, yeah. You know, the, the, you know, they're looking for something. Yeah. You know, they're, they're definitely maybe even looking to uh, potentially become better or improve themselves, not just through yoga, but there's there can be like that spiritual aspect, yeah. um, that people are drawn to. So, and and over over the over the years, I was like blessed to have so many amazing opportunities to connect with so many different, yeah. like, um, so many different people from all walks of life. Mm. You know, and it's. And and I've and they've made an impression on me, yeah. You know, and it's and I've become the person I am today because of the people. Really, yeah. It's amazing all of that you just said, Martin. I'm like this. Grab this part. Grab this part. There's so many gems in this. But one thing in particular, which is very touching, when you become more authentically yourself, because everything you've done is very like I, the love. I love mm, doing this. I'm yeah. Do, I'm all right. I'm gonna love do that now, right? And then you've got these crowds of people rocking up. Mm. But you're being yourself. Yeah. So that's not like ego based. That's mm. more like just you, um, you know, like not trying to fit into society, mm. but like the hang on, Martin's onto something there. Yeah, you know, that curiosity again, but just yeah. you being yourself, which mm. is a powerful feeling. It's like um, a mad buzz, isn't it? It's Absolutely. Like, I mean, uh, you know, upon reflection, I think I've always felt a sense of like 
being myself. Yeah, yeah. And within that, there's an individualism and there's a uniqueness, mm. you know. And there's also natural leadership. Yeah. You know, I um I'm, and 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 there's a nature of being a rebel as well. You know, I don't I've always, you know, um sort of led my own ship, so to speak. Mm. Um and being incredibly decisive and like what I wanted in the world and I went after it. I think some of that was inflated. And some of that also, you know, came from a place of lack and scarcity. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and I suppose I, I've learned so much more about human psychology and human behavior for me to take a look at all this stuff yeah. and reflect upon some of my behavior in the past. Um, just so I can really, you know, shine a compassionate light upon that and neutralize, you know, um, some of them polarized experiences. But I've always had a sense of just self, a sense of like just grounded, this is who I am. Um, and uh, and there's you know there's just like an authenticity there. I wear my heart on my sleeve, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um, and I think within that, th- there's there's like less fear of being judged. Mm. You know, I, I know I'm going to be judged. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I might as well be authentic along the way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Man. And don't get me wrong. You know, I've worn masks. Of course, we all wear masks to a degree. Um, you know, and, and we're always promoting our self image as yeah. well. You know, because we we want to be seen. We want to be acknowledged. We have a longing to belong. Yes. So we, you know, we we want to, you know, we want to be heard and felt and acknowledged and loved, um. And so you know, we we almost subscribe our ego and and inflate it to a degree where you want somebody else to like you. Yeah. Um. And I've done that. You know, everybody does that. Yeah, we yeah, all yeah. do it. I am. Um, but I I think you know looking back and 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 really owning where I'm at now is like I really just feel like this is who I am. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is who I am. You know what I mean? If you like me, sound. And if you don't like me, equally sound. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I've found that equanimity with it. And I suppose I've lived with that for many years. Wow. It's That's just, that thought right then, right, took me to this place. So, for instance, my dad at the moment, he's not well. He's in hospital. He had a really big skid, but he's still in hospital. But so, but since then, right, it's like his filter's gone. Mm. So now, he used to worry a lot about, um, you know, what people think, or if he said something wrong, overthink it, um, you know, and deal with that by alcohol. Yeah. A lot of, like a lot of people. Of course. Um, but then the other day he had this case, so he's in hospital at the moment, but he's lost his filter. Mm. So like, for instance, the nurses would walk past and he's like, they're going 100 miles per hour. And he's like, hey, <laughs> settle down. What, what are you doing? Like, you know, not angry at them, but just telling them, hey, like, what are you in a crazy rush for? Like, yeah. settle down. And then when she walked by, he, he, he just looks to me. I actually videoed it. He goes, um, hey, see that and all? He goes, I would have never done that before this accident. Mm. but he's speaking in like a third person I go yeah. what? I said what do you mean he goes oh, oh if I said you know anything to someone I would overthink it I'd worry about it I'd be yeah. mulling on it for weeks and I'd so I'd just shut up mm. but he goes this has just taught me to just live life to yeah. fill us and don't give a fuck what people say not in a way of you've got to be mean to people yeah. but the fact that like speak from your heart mm. and, and whatever happens happens but like this is who I am yeah. and, and when you just said that then it just was like wow it's a compassionate truth you know what I mean like you know, th- there's this sort of saying, unapologetically being myself. Mm. Um, and I think it's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck about others, but it's like, I don't give a compassionate fuck. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Instead of being like, because cause it can, even that, like, I don't give a fuck, can create separation. Yeah, yeah. And really, we don't want to be separated from the world. Mm. You know, we, we want to be connected. Yeah. You know, we have this innate drive to connect, mm. you know, and, and what what disconnects us from others is is... Um, is this ego mind? Yeah. You know what I mean. You know, and and then because we have labels and belief systems, um, and mental constructs, mm. and and it, it creates separation. You know, between people. Mm. Um, or like for instance, like your beliefs and this are my beliefs. So we, that yeah, type yeah. Of thing? Well, yeah. You, I mean, I, I, you know, I could say, well, I'm a Liverpool fan, and you yeah. say, well, I'm, 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 you know, I'm a Manchester fan or whatever. And already there's a label then. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, and then I could say, well, I'm a Christian. You say, well, I'm, um, I'm a Buddha. Yeah. I'm, I, I practice Buddhism and it's like, oh, it's a label. So we can't, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And so straight away, you, you start to size somebody up, mm. you know, just because of potentially the labels that they carry, you know, or the, or the clothes they wear or the yeah. masks they put on. So true, so true. There's, it's an interesting, that is, you know, when you when you talk about that area, man, because I think about that, you know, quite a bit, you know, as soon as someone labels them, oh, this is what I am, or this is what I am, even to a degree, right? I, I, I'm a big fan, I meditate, I'm a big mm. fan of every everyone's spirituality. But then, like some people go full hog. Mm. That they, they, for instance, you know, they might just be something because you've that's the full package. Yeah, but like, yeah. The, the, you're not trying to be 
someone else. You're trying to be yourself, but in a more of an authentic way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I think I heard you say it about having, like, if you like a beer, but then all of a sudden you can't have a beer because you become this certain yeah, person. Yeah, of course. Like, well, why, why are you, you know what I mean? Well, people just place expectations onto us all the time. Do mm. you know what I mean? And um, I think within the realms of our psychology, yeah, or yeah. you could say, you know, your ego personality, you know, there's a full spectrum of like perceived good qualities and perceived not so good qualities. And, you know, what we do is we promote what yeah. we think the world wants to see, but we we hide the, yeah. the, the not so good qualities, you know what I mean? And that's the shadow bit. Mm. You know, it's, you could say it's like the Jekyll and Hyde or, you know, or Hulk. You know, the Hulk mm. and Bruce Banner. You know, Bruce yeah. Banner's like, yeah. these, these are the respectable scientists, you know what I mean? And and then you've got, you know, the Hulk who's just like the green eye monster who wrecks everything, mm. you know? And I think within these personality traits, um, people, you know, they, they, they almost overcompensate their good qualities because yeah. they want to be liked by people. Um, and But also, they will wear their labels very proudly, mm. do you know what I mean? Whatever them labels are, it's like, oh, this is who I am. And it's it's who the ego has become. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And and sometimes even that it is it's it's like a, a construct that may have been placed upon you mm. without your permission. You know, I'll give you an example, like, you know, you could be a a, a boy um who's in your mother's womb and uh, you live in Liverpool. Mm. And before you've even come out, someone in the family's gone, he's a red. Yeah. He's yeah. a blue. Uh he's he's Catholic and um you know what, he's he's gonna be a doctor. He's gonna be a joiner. You know what I mean? And, and all of a sudden, you haven't even been here. And people are placing mm. these belief systems onto you, do you know what I mean? And these expectations. Yeah, yeah. And because as a child, you know, you, you, you are so attached onto your caregivers, mm -hmm. you end up, you know, um, overcompensating. Or you self-sacrifice what's, what's important to you just to please somebody else's expectation. Mm. And, and, and most people do that. Yeah. And, you know, the work I do, you know, in Liverpool and beyond is especially with the meditation is I help people really to um to to reclaim their attention I like that that's a big one like because our attention gets lost you know it, 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 there's a fight for your attention by the way you know all day every day there's a fight for your attention social media mm. Nike Marks Spencers you know Rolex Jaguar whatever they're fighting for your attention they're like come over here yeah. you know and we want it we want you to buy our stuff because it's gonna make you it's gonna it's gonna you're gonna you, it's gonna make you look good you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you, you know, you're, you're cool, dude, now. Um, <laughs> and so, like, when we actually reclaim this attention, and that's a big part of the meditation journey is, you you know, because attention gets lost in thoughts as well, gets lost in, and so when we notice the thoughts that we're entertaining, we can notice the stories that we're telling ourselves. Mm. And what is it that we're trying to prove? What are, what are we trying to promote? What are we trying to defend? Because yeah, yeah. we have, like, a one-sided bias in the mind. So... That these belief systems, unbeknown to us, they make us who we've become. Yeah. And and then we try to defend and protect them um, belief systems because it gives us a sense of identity. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And that's what we're looking for. We're looking we're actually looking for a sense of self. Yeah. But we use the ego for us as like a as a as a as a compensation for a sense of be being. Yeah. You know, so sense true. of being. And so when we reclaim this attention, when we recapture this attention, then it gives us an opportunity to begin to reflect, mm. like a, a neutral reflection upon the way we behave. Do you know what I mean? The way we act out. Mm. It's actually the way we react out. Do you know what I mean? You know, because a lot of the time we, we, we're not very conscious. Mm. So we, we actually, we're unconscious. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when we're unconscious, we've checked out. Mm. And when we've checked out, the subconscious has taken over. And the subconscious mind is just the storehouse of all your habits. So, and, and all your habits is is, is basically all, the person you've become. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, unbeknown to us, we're just trying to defend, protect, promote, validate yeah. these these belief systems. We just get yesterday and put it onto today. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and we're just sleepwalking through life, you know? Yeah. And, and, and then we use the outside world for like instant gratification um, or the outside world like captures our attention. Mm. And really, it can be an inside job. And this is the process of beginning to take a look at your psychology. You know what I mean? The, you know, the way you psychologically navigate life mm. and, and the way you intellectualize things. And when you do that, if you have the courage, you begin to take ownership. Yeah. Not, uh, you know, you, you own your good qualities, but you also own your, your, your 
perceived yeah. not so good qualities. And when you when you take ownership, there's less blaming and shaming. Yeah, that you, there's just radical responsibility, and then you can, and then you feel more of yourself. Yeah, you're just more authentic. Do you think though as well that regarding all of that though, Martin, like when you reflect on the good and the bad. Like some people, well, some even myself, man. When I say some people, I'm talking about myself. You know what I mean? We, yeah, <laughs> we can beat ourselves up though. Yeah. Like it, it, uh, acknowledge it, aware of it. Yeah, but don't spiral for fun. Well, we condemn ourselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and, and it's be, I think it's because the expectations that people place upon us, or we place upon ourselves, the mm. standards are too high. Yeah, um, and them standards, we can't sustain them. Mm. But you know, the, 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 um, the, and no wonder we're bipolar. We're polarized, you know, because the standards are so high, yeah. and 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 it's like this all or nothing attitude, yeah. You know, and I think if we can take a look at our stuff, but actually shine a compassionate light yeah. upon it, and 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 the compassionate light's also a neutral light. Mm. Just learn how to observe it, mm. just learn how to watch it, you know, and then from there you can begin to, or for me, you begin a journey of um, embodying a healthy egoic identity mm. and that healthy egoic identity for me is 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 someone who takes responsibility yeah. accountability lives a life of integrity you know maturity open-minded yeah. you know like there's a cleanliness you know uh, you, you're also in a, an abundant mindset it's a win-win dynamic yeah, you know yeah. uh, an unhealthy egoic identity someone who's like close-minded Mm. Always protects that image. Yeah. Um, immature, blames and shames, probably plays the victim. Yes. You know, and, and and it takes, you know, when you actually see yourself reacting, yeah, then you can take a look and you do one or two things. You'll either own it and say, Okay, this is my stuff, I'm gonna work with it. Yeah. That's called self development. Yeah. You know what I mean? The real one. Yeah. The real one. <laughs> yeah. People are just like, Yeah, what's this self development all about? It's when you look in the mirror, mate. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's when you take a look in the mirror and, and you, you begin to own you, all your all your stuff. Because yeah. some people are just afraid to own their good qualities as well. Yeah. They give the power away to people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All day, every day, we're giving our power away to people. Yeah. And so if you see it in somebody else, you've got it in within yourself. Mm. We're all just mirrors. You know what I mean? Well, even that's like with, with compliments, all right? Yeah. How can we give a compl compliment if we can't receive one? Like, yeah, yeah. But I know people who, look, who can't give compliments. Mm. But then it's like, it's a funny one. Like, how authentic is that compliment if you can't receive it? Like, why do we get this fuzzy feeling sometimes? Sometimes it's just difficult for us to receive and own. You know, when someone might say, oh, you're looking great, and you go, wait, and oh, Ooh, just feels doesn't feel right in the body, do you know what I mean? And you know, and then we almost deflect it straight away. Yeah. But we deflect the good qualities, but we also deflect the fucking not so good qualities, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. we just almost don't want to take ownership. Because mm. because we're afraid. The ego's afraid to just be seen in in its fullness. Yeah. And that's the dark and the light together. Um and that's a practice in itself, you know, Ollie, you know what I mean? Like mm. that this is a skill. This stuff doesn't just come overnight. I mean, there's a moral compass in there that we listen to, but we've not really been educated on how to live a, a healthy egoic identity, yeah. you know, um, to take a look at our psychology, you know, to get into these win-win transactions, to actually communicate and negotiate with the people around us. We've never really been taught how to communicate mm. and negotiate, you know what I mean? And, and, and I think because, you know, we, we, we're afraid to... Um, we're afraid to be vulnerable. Do you know what I mean? I think since from the inception of birth, mm. life's gonna make you hard. Do you know what I mean? You know, and but what, when we when we're so hard, this, we're just like we're like stiff. We become yeah. rigid, and we and that's no wonder we snap. Do you know what I mean? No wonder we we there's rage in us. Do you know what I mean? And the, I think that the, the journey is um uh, where was I going with that one? I was going somewhere with that one. Um, oh yeah. So you know the journey is is, is learning how to become soft again. Yeah. Because when we're hard, we end up getting into the mind a lot. Mm. So we're in the head. And and because we're so attached and subscribed, we're actually oversubscribed yeah. to the pit to, to the ego self. Is then that's why we're always rehearsing, predicting, yeah. projecting to a possible future, reminiscing the past. Because the ego likes to know where it's going, but it likes to know where it's been. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And 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 so, you know, the, the journey is like is learning how to manage the mind. Do you know what I mean? You know, and that's a big part of the meditation journey. It's like you you reclaim your attention, yeah, but yeah. you learn how to actually 
manage the stories we tell ourselves. You know, we we, we have like forty to seventy thousand thoughts every day. Yeah, wow. we have an intellect. We're narrating the world. Do you know what I mean? You can't. It's not about stopping thoughts. It's about learning how to manage the mind. But how many of the th- how many of the thoughts we talk about we create on top of that as well? Though? Oh, well, th- we just make assumptions because we have we have a desire for certainty. So we're always predicting a possible future because we're mm. terrified of the unknown. Yeah. We're not actually afraid of the unknown. We're afraid of the thought of the unknown. Yeah. Just a thought. You know what I mean? So, you know, thoughts are not the enemy, but some of the thoughts that we believe to be true can um, put our physiology out of, out of balance. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, when we're psychologically overthinking and then, and the, 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 you know, the body's tense and it's armoured up, you know what I mean? So we become seriously vigilant, mm. hyper vigilant, suspicious. We become skeptical. You know what I mean? And 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 within that, we're, we're closed. Yeah. We're closed. And the journey is like learning how to get in the body, let the body do what it does best, which is rest in its nature. Mm. You know. And so, the, what practices have we got? Whatever these practices are to like connect again, connect to our nature, connect yeah. to a place of vulnerability. You know, but it's it's the mind holds on. Yeah. You know what I mean? It holds on for dear life. So anything that's vulnerable or surrendering or yielding, it's like, nah. And then even the ego mind sees that as weakness. It's not weakness. Mm. You know what I mean? You know, it, it's it's a strength. Yeah. It's a fancy, it's an amazing strength to drop back in the body. And then there's just natural confidence. It's like yeah. this inner quiet knowing. You know what I mean? You're just like, oh yeah, I know who I am. I'm settled in presence. Mm. I've got direction. Got a healthy egoic identity, you know. Yeah. I'm driving towards something that's purposeful to me. Mm. I'm going to create some order around that. I'm going to manage some time. Yeah. I'm going to be direct and get some action. And 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 within that, you know, you you you'll you just have some fun anyway. Yeah. I mean, there's just a natural celebration. So you're staying close to like your nature, your sensedness, um, and and for me, then you just you, there's like natural enthusiasm. That's that vibe, you know, we were talking about at the start, you know what I mean? It's just a vibe. Yeah. Just like it's infectious. It's because you're in the centre mm. of abundance. You're not in a vibration of lack. Yeah, yeah. Scarcity, victim. Yeah. Blaming and shaming, complaining. You know what I mean? Like, because that's a vibration. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and and it's a heavy one. It's yeah. really heavy. You know, so when we actually do some inner work mm. and, um, and and take some ownership and, and, and step up and grow up, and all of a sudden, we're like, you know, we're creating the conditions on a daily basis yeah. for you to be in a place of presence, sacredness, connection, and celebration. Yeah. The good stuff, you know? The good stuff. The connection one for me is powerful. I think over the years, we've become more of a society as such, like you say, but become lonelier, mm. you know? We, I think COVID has played a massive factor. In yeah. So many people had social anxiety from yeah. getting out of the house and connecting people mm. and, and whatnot, but... um. I feel my fullest when I'm connecting with people. Yeah. It's it's our nature. Mm. Do you know what I mean? We we have an innate drive to connect. I think as well, like we're being roboticized. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, we do live in a culture that it's it's it, it is artificial intelligence and it's here to stay, do you know what I mean? So we have to learn how to be with it. But the big one is learning how to like set some boundaries around it. Boundaries, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And and you know, we, we need it. You know, we need it to connect, like you, you need it to pay bills, you know, you need it to, to you know, to, it's just the, where it's at, do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, and I think if you can use it wisely and yeah. learn how to use it, like we're not even taught how to like, how to let, you know, how to use this stuff wisely, do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And so, um, you know, we spend a lot of time on screens and that's fine, you know what I mean? We, we, but I think we've, we've got to learn how to equally spend just as much time like off the screen or yeah. in nature. Do you know what I mean? Or connecting with others, 100%. and um, it, it's it's also so easy to connect with people off the sc- on the screen and not off mm, the screen. So true. You know what I mean? Because it's almost it, it, it takes away almost um, this this f- this level of like being judged. Mm. You know what I mean, or this fear of being accepted. So it's just like it's easier on the screen. Of course. You know what I mean? You know, it's, uh, yeah. Let's just get on the screens, and and it's also easy to promote your image. On a screen, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You know, you, you, you can you can play around with filters nowadays. You can look a million dollars. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, be, you know, being in person, yeah. uh, we, we are losing this interaction. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We're losing this social interaction. We've already been domesticated. Mm. Do you know what I mean? For many years. Now we're being roboticized. Yeah. And you're just like, fucking hell, we're up against it. Do you know what I mean? We're up against it. And it takes some personal will. It takes courage and vulnerability to mm. say, hang on a minute. 
Yeah. I, I have this innate drive to connect to my nature. So let's get in nature. Yes. Let's get it. And, and I also have this innate drive to naturally connect with others. Mm. But because we're not very good at doing it, yeah. or there's a fear of being rejected, it's like, ah, there's a, back, there's a wall. Mm. You know what I mean? There's a wall. And it's getting worse. Yeah. It is getting worse. You know what I mean? It's just got to be... Pe- People like yourself and, and the, you know, the men without masks that you're doing as well, yeah. facilitating in that and, the you know, your meditation that you do in Liverpool. These are the things that connect the people closer. So I think yeah. these these things are so important. Mm. Um, you know, retreats, obviously, you know, community catch-ups. Yeah. These are powerful, you know. And like we were talking about earlier about this space, it's uh, passion-driven. It's mm. not... Um, Money driven because mm. you you're just following this. Yeah, you know, you're following this. Yeah, and it's really interesting thing you said earlier about the ego and connecting to it. And as you know, being in the sports, playing tennis, mm. very much connected to this identity at one stage. Yeah. Um, and I did we'll, we'll go down a bit of the psychedelics past, but I did the DMT, and I mentioned it to you before about um, I was really struggling with the identity about five years ago, four yeah. five years ago, and I remember seeing this like um, Egyptian woman. And she just like grabbed my hand, like like grabbed it. Not that I just followed her essentially. In my while well, I had my head clo- eyes closed and whatnot, and we just fell walked into like this realm, and there was my brain there. And if anyone who's never done it would be like, "What the fuck is he on about?" But she pulled my <laughs> pulled my brain apart like a filing cabinet. Man. Mm. She just went like this. And I remember, and she went one step back, and she pulled out, and it was an image of me as a rugby player. Mm. And she just went like this from the ass to the toes, like a zip, mm. boom. And it just fell off, wow. and I was naked. Yeah. And it was kind of like, without saying the word, she was like, that's who you are. That's who you are. You're not yeah. that. These are aspects of you. But Absolutely. You're that guy. Yeah. And it, it was the moment then of like, I'm not saying that changed my whole life, but it brought some form of awareness to recognize yeah. that, you know, and it, it, I didn't walk out there. I didn't leave that day going, fuck, I feel like a million bucks now. It was like, whoa. Wow. Yeah. It, it was like a revelation that you couldn't deny. Yeah. Undeniable. Yeah. Laughed. I cried. Yeah. I mean, what you do with that's the, 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 the big one is what you do with it. Mm. It shows you something. Then the rest is up to you. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And that's what plant medicine will do or DMT or whatever. It'll show you something. And there's inc- there is definitely healing that occurs. Mm. And and you know and but inevitably it's it's the w- the work's done after. Yeah, yeah. You know that's I mean? it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's done after. It showed me something. You can deny it and turn your back on it and go, wow, I've just been sh- shown something. Like it was inspiring, and like it it showed me who I really am. Yeah. Underneath the mask, underneath the outfit. Do you know what I mean? Or, 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 and the labels of the rugby yeah. rugby guy, you know, Ollie the rugby man, you know, and and th- that's who we become. They're parts of who we become. Yeah. You know, I, I was labelled the tennis guy for many years, and I suppose now there's the label of the meditation yeah, guy. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Um, and that's okay. People are gonna label you. Like I'm labelled by there's hundreds of people who label me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Some people think he's a lovely guy. Some people that think he's a knobhead. Do you know what I mean? You know, I'm labelled all day by the world. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? To to be somebody mm. or something. Um. So yeah, it's 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 just a it's a when we have these revelations of like there's the sense of nakedness. Mm. Do you know what I mean? We're in our naked truth, and that naked truth for me is a sense of being. Yeah. We just it's being. It's just the yeah. human being. And that within that being is this presence, mm. and there's and that presence is our natural self. Yeah, it's our nature, you know. And and within that, there's presence, and you could say that presence is of an awareness. Yeah, and that awareness is of an aliveness. So it's life itself, but it's unconditional, mm. has no conditions, it's unbiased. Yeah, it's yeah. not polarized. It's neutral, you know, and it's unchanging, mm. and it's always been there. But the reason we miss it is because it's so obvious. Yeah. It's so simple. We overlook it. So we look outside of ourselves for a sense of self. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, people say, be yourself. Say, I don't know who I really am. Yeah. And, and there's this naked self even before your name. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You know, be, well, as soon as you're given a name, there's there's an identity. Yeah. That, oh, he's so and so. Yeah. Yeah. That, he, that's Ollie. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And that's okay. You know, and that's make that what it, that's what makes us unique as well. You know, and, and but within that, there's something so beautiful, but there's also something that is also disempowering. Yeah. Because then straight away, there's a separation from the natural self, and and then one becomes two. Yeah. And that two is self, the real self, the true self, mm. the presence of self, the being, and then the ego self. Mm. But we do have an ego because we have an intellect. We're yeah. the only species that can intellectualize something at the level of words. And so, uh, you know, our ego is always trying to make sense of the world. Mm. 
yeah. you know what I mean? It's it's you know, and I think um, this is what causes this separation. But the mind is a great asset, but it's the origin of all the conflict in your life. Yeah, yeah. All the suffering and all the conflict that most of the time you feel comes from the intellect and how we intellectualize things, you know, mm. because it's just the labels of the ego. So, you know, this experience you've had, it's just showing you who you are underneath it. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's, there's a human beingness. Yeah. And that, within that beingness, within that essence of awareness, it's pure possibility. Mm. It's limitless. Mm. It's formless, shapeless, timeless. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and when we feel into that nakedness, which is available to us all mm. at, at all times, you know, we, we begin a journey of, um, of of presence. People think, I need to be in the present moment. Nah, man, you're missing it. You need, you need to be the presence mm. that you already are. And when you drop into that, when that lands, you're like, ah, there's a presence here. Mm. Watching a great program at the minute on Netflix, and it was about, um, it's about chimpanzees, you know what I mean? Great program, and then um, you know within them, within them, um, them apes, there's um, there's a presence, but they also have feelings. You know what I mean? They haven't got no intellectualizing of of thoughts, yeah, yeah. but there's feelings, and so they follow their instinct and they listen to their feelings and then and then respond spontaneously, you know, from their yeah, nature. Yeah. We have presence, like the chimps. We have feelings, like them. But we also have thoughts. You yeah. know what I mean? And we actually just get lost in thoughts mm. a lot of the time. Um, and there's nothing wrong with thoughts. You know, we've got an intellect, can't get rid of the mind. But when we learn how to have a better relationship with our thoughts, um, we can go beyond our limitations. Um, you have to be prepared to look at things from a different perspective. Yeah, Thoughts are just the way you perceive it's the filter you talked about with your father yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean it's just the, the filter's gone mm. you know and, and, and so when we remove the you know these these belief systems there's this nakedness yeah people are, can be afraid of that you know what I mean people are afraid to be just resting in presence because well the ego is afraid of it because yeah. it, it feels like well who am I yeah yeah you know what I mean so you've got your ego and then you've got this like, this true essence of self and for me the, the golden nuggets and what I've learned from you know over a period of time is like Live a healthy egoic identity, mm. but also but live it with spirit. Yeah, live a spirited life through the mask, but the mask is a healthy mask. You know what I mean? Mm. You, and but the, that. that mask that you wear of of the ego is also there's no cap on it. So you have to give yourself permission to you know become yeah, and yeah. keep becoming the best version of yourself. Mm. That takes practice, it takes yeah, it accountability and responsibility. You know, and that's that's a never ending game. That's called personal developing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, and, and I think th there's a beautiful there's there's something beautiful about developing the personal self, mm. but we have to be careful that we're not just invested totally in the personal self mm. because we're divested in our natural selves. So true. Yeah. So if we if, if if we turn the gaze back, it takes the ego. It's the ego which has an investment now in the in the impersonal self, mm. which is the natural self, which is the sense of being. And then you know that that for me is is like you, you're coming back to something which is natural, which is sacred, which is precious. And when that becomes a priority for the ego, um, you know, then then you can marry the two. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when then when they're when they're married, you know what I mean? And then and they're cohesive. Oh, like you just you're in a place of like there's depth and there's there's celebration and there's, and, and there's presence. You know, presence is such a great gift. And we're just there, mm. you know? Uh, excuse me. That's all right. Have you, uh, you've had, obviously, you going through this journey, though, and you're meeting your wife on this journey. I wonder what that, that deeper, you know, that, you know, we talk about that deeper connection, but you're on this journey, you know, you've got, like, you're obviously, you know, cu curious when you started both of you together. Like you said, you met in the meditation studio. So, yeah. you know, you're, you're on the same path a certain extent certain yeah. extent you know i mean you know i i, I always wanted like I, I like to be emotionally stimulated mm. you know so i always really welcome like um really open honest conversations mm. about anything and everything you know that's where i really I, that's where i thrive mm. it's what turns me on you know Same. and um and so like having someone there who didn't judge me 
or maybe even going to an edge and having some taboo conversations, yeah. but you know was open minded enough to like share them yeah. and 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 share her you know belief systems and nice. yeah like that that's been like it, it's been liberating for me mm. you know um don't get me wrong we've had our struggles like everyone <laughs> okay now um but she's you know my partner's my greatest teacher mm. you know and then we were fortunate enough to you know to birth a child together and um and then she'll become a father and become a parent um and a guardian mm. of a soul and, and a human that's been like that's been incredible yeah you know like that that has been probably the best thing that's ever truly happened, you know. And I've lived a really fortunate life, but haven't haven't become a father. And um, and and it's you know you got to own your own shit because you you know you're not just because you know you naturally want to protect them, but you place some belief systems onto them. Mm. You know what I mean? Without their permission. Yeah, yeah. So you'd like to think that whatever you're placing upon them is at least it's it's neutral. You know what I mean? It's empowering. My job as a father is to just nurture this child and. Make sure she, you know, she um, is decisive. Yeah, yeah. That she takes responsibility. You know, that she's being herself. I think one of the greatest things that I'd like to think I could nurture is is this sense of just her being herself, being authentic. You know, and and helping her understand that she gets older that you know the world's gonna challenge her. Yeah. It's gonna throw you curveballs. It, it's it's not just you know it, it's a difficult place to live in. Mm. You know what I mean? But you know that's where we we can develop that egoic experience so you know she is vigilant she, you know so she, she is on the ball you know what i mean mm. that she does make decisions um and 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 just learns how to become a, a really good human mm. you know and i'd like to think that made me partner uh, you know open-minded enough and rebellious enough but also respectful enough of yeah, life yeah. to you know bring the child in to give her the best possible opportunity to celebrate to be present to be oh, herself that. um and and within that you know i, I know she'll she'll touch other people's lives you know what I mean? You know, that for me, that's that's what we're here for. Mm. We're here to contribute. No, you, I totally agree. I think impacting people's lives in a positive way. Yeah. Well, that's part of what I do now for work, but it's just a powerful feeling now. Yeah. Uh, it's just such a celebrate. Th- oh. I, I want to celebrate just as much. It's as a worthy do. cause. Do you know what I mean? Like you know, it, 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 it's not just all about me. No. You know, we, we think the, the I mean the ego the ego is the star in the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. You know, Martin's cool. Um, <laughs> but it, it, I think for me, like what I what I really love about how I am now committed to like saving others. Do you know what I mean? Oh. But within that, saving myself. Yeah. Because sometimes you know we can we can get so inflated in saving others. And 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 at the um, at the level of our own, you know, we yeah. sort of self sacrifice our own pleasure. You yeah. know, we self sacrifice ourselves, so life can become like a lose win. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so I want to make sure that within what I'm saving and contributing, that it brings emotional satisfaction, it elevates the mood. Mm. Um, you know, I'm getting paid in the process as well. You know what I mean? Like, you know, win win. Yeah, it's a win win. Like, I, I, and, and 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 so this cleanliness just it gives me the opportunity to continue to save. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, it's a, it, it feels like a really nice ecosystem. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Where everyone thrives, you know, or, you know, most of the time. And, it, you know, we're creating community um, and, and people come together. Um, and the best part of my job is the people. Mm. It's the people. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I've become a better person because of the people. You know, the teacher needs the student just as much as the student needs the teacher. Yeah. And, I, and I'm a student as well, you know what I mean? I'm a student of life. And, and so having the people who've come in my direction with a willingness mm. to develop you yeah. know what I mean? But also, like, find out who they really are. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I give people a platform of education and direct experience for them to sink into what they already know. They've just forgotten it. Yes. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> You're just full of gems, mate. You are. I love it, though. I love it. Talk about experiences. I don't know if you can... Are you allowed to talk about, like, any of your clients or... Yeah, absolutely. Are, what yeah. about, um? you know, I know she's quite highly well-known, Meatball Molly. Yeah. You've I done mean, a lot of work with the avenue. Yeah, we've done some work together. I think um, what I love about me, what I love about Molly McCann, is that she's she's um, she's a diamond first and foremost, and um, and she's just being herself. Actually, mm. she's lived a, a really interesting life, you know, and um, yeah, she's got spirit and she's got heart, and uh, she's also got a, a, a she's got multi levels of intelligence. She's got a great mind as well. Mm. Um, and through her own background and experience, it's 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 shaped and made her the person she is she is today. Um, and sometimes, you know, I think what what happened for Molly was that um, when that sort of notoriety really kicked in, it was overwhelming for yeah. her. 
you know what I mean? And um, and I really loved how she held me in such a regard to just, you know, maybe just guide her back a little bit, yeah. back to herself. And we kept things really simple, do you know what I mean? When you get the basics right and you get the formalities and, and the fundamentals, like, of coming back to self... Yeah. And, and and learning how to deal with you know the, the the expectations from others, but also that pressure. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That pressure to win, that pressure to to, to to always be available for people. Um. So she came in my direction, and it was like it was an easy win for the pair of us. You know, because there was natural respect, there was a, there was a spiritual bond. Um. And and I knew that like she was also willing. You know what I mean? Like she came in my direction. I didn't. You know, I, I didn't go in. Go so looking for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah. came in my direction, so there was like a personal will there for her as well. And then, um, yeah, we just we just we, we kept it simple. You know, I just give her a container to to manage her emotions, just to speak yeah, yeah. and to be vulnerable. You know, um, and in in a really and, and for that to be you know kept in confidence. Yeah. Um. And yeah, we just like we did some. Uh, you know, we helped her just to manage her, her schedule a little bit better. And you know, I just turned the gaze back on her self care. Nice. She just set some boundaries, you know. Um, she felt like she had an emotional container, and and yeah, she, she. I think it wasn't about me making sure she was a better fighter. It was just make it was about making her a better person. Powerful man, so true. Do you know what I mean? I'm not bothered about. I, I'm I'm not bothered about Molly m- meatball Molly. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like I, I I'm really not. Do you know what I mean? Like I I, I obviously I wanted to win and I wanted to succeed and I wanted to enjoy and celebrate but my job is to like make sure that she's in full and expre- in the fullest expression yeah in or outside the octagon and I mean yeah. and she's looking and she does everything and uh, she does the small things in a great way she lives a life of excellence nice. everywhere and if you live a life of excellence everywhere then there's no ha- you know there's just you just excel yeah you maximize your potential do you know what I mean? You're within spirit. Mm. And so, you know, th- th- it was dead easy work. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. and you know, we, we, we've got a great bond. And I just, th- you know, I'd like to just think we're just really good friends. It's the power and it. she knows I'm here for her. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? And, and when you know you've got people in your corner, yeah. like, I'm just here for her. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want nothing from her. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? I, I, I truly, I'm in love with her. She's yeah. an amazing person. You know, she's full of life, full of zest. So she's my type of person. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and you know, we've just, we, you know, whether we've had, you know, a bit of time, you know, um, just doing a bit of work together, or just having a walk around a park. Yeah. You know, and the, and the, and we, we've socialised as well. You know, I've been fortunate enough to just, um, you know, share a couple of beers with her. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and some and some good and some good grub. You know what I mean? And and then she obviously invited me over to New York last year, which was you know a great gift for me. Yeah. Um. So I got to travel as well as you know being in that working mm-hmm. container, and it was just like wow. I, I, so I felt really fortunate. Yeah. Um. So you know the likes of me, Paul, like they just. They're so easy clients to work with. Do you know what I mean? And and uh, yeah, I love her to pieces, and I wish her all the best. You know, in in all her endeavors. Yeah, she's uh, she's on a path that girl like, oh. absolutely killing it. But one key thing you said, then you know, I think some people when they go on this personal development or, or trying to get the fundamentals right, you know, they try and extra go extravagant and X, Y, and Z mm. get pretty crazy. Yeah. But it's all about simplifying it. Yeah, it's all about going backwards to the basics. Yeah, absolutely. You got to, you, 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 you know. Don't get me wrong. It's it's good to have direction yeah, yeah. and to create order and to disciple a culture. Mm. You know, but w- a lot of the time people aren't getting the basics right. Mm. They don't feel centered. They don't feel grounded. They don't feel safe. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and um, and yeah, even even the personal development journey, it can be um, it can be detrimental. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because we th- we feel like we have we need to add more. Yeah. When really it's about taking away. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and then you know, coming back to you know, simplicity. All that divinity that we're truly looking for is in the simplicity. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And then when we when we get that and when we come home, I like to use the term return or remember. Yeah. Or rewild. You know what I mean? It's just this sense of ah, I'm returning now. I'm returning to my nature. Mm. And then when you're in your nature, you're you're fluid. You know what I mean? You know, you, you, you are open, you're spontaneous, you're receptive. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, 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 there's, you're trusting, you know, and, and, and you're abundant, you're attractive, mm. like a magnet. You know what I mean? And people feel like that is the force they talk about in Star Wars. Yeah. That's the force, man. You know what I mean? That's, that's Jedi training. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I believe you, though. I believe you. And so <laughs> if that's the good stuff. And um, and as I said, like personal development, it's 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 powerful. But we have to be careful that we're not attached to always getting better. Yeah. So for me, the golden nugget. This is my stuff. Is that we get better when we take ownership. Mm. If we take, if we hold ourselves accountable, 
and show up each day yeah. and, and, and stretch beyond our limitation, there's going to be natural growth. Mm. In fact, the growth is organic. You'll get better anyway without striving to get better. Yeah. You're just stretching into betterment. And, th- you know, uh, that took me a long time to really understand and embody, mm. you know what I mean, and activate in my own culture and then educate others to do the same. Yeah. You know, a lot of people have this like, I need to get better, I need to get better, yeah. I need to get better. And what they're doing is they're pushing into pain. Yeah. They're pushing into pain. And for me, it's like, fucking hell, what are you pushing into pain for? I know things have to get uncomfortable, but don't push into pain every day. Don't yeah. be an idiot. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> don't, don't do that. You know, like, there's, there's like, there's the comfort laugh, zone. Man. And then there's like this place which is incredibly uncomfortable. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's almost like, what are you trying to prove? Yeah. And who are you trying to prove it to? Correct. Do you know what I mean? Just stretch yourself each day. Show up and stretch yourself, you know what I mean? And once you find that sweet spot where you're stretching, it's like you're beyond your comfort, yeah. but you're not pushing into pain. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, you can sustain that. You know what I mean? You become consistent. You become naturally disciplined. Do you know what I mean? And then and then more people trust you. Mm. You're competent. You're dangerous. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's like... And, and, and so... Because sometimes, like, the self-development thing, it's like you, you're not accepting actually who you are as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You know, and, and what's actually, you know, what is going on for you? Yeah. Just like, okay, this is who I am, but I'm going to create, I'm going to create, you know, some, um, some containers for me to activate. Yeah, yeah. And that's where your habits come in, do you know what I mean? You know, that's where you can schedule in some time, whatever that yeah. is. I like to just use the term creating space for connection. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, whatever that is, that might be walking around the park, it might be going to the gym, it might be finding a PT. It might be having a, a therapist. Yeah. If you can have all of these things, even better. Yeah. You know, with the cold water therapy, but it doesn't have to be cold water. Mm. It might be a fucking nice warm bath. Yeah. You know what I mean? With some nice incense and some, you know, some some candles. Like, we're not being kind to ourselves anymore. No, we're not. Do you know what I mean? You know, take yourself out for a nice date. Go and get yourself a nice coffee. Yeah. Hang out with the people you love. You know what I mean? Like, and just keep that, you know, just stay in that, that stretching zone. Talking about, you know, taking time for yourself. Interesting you say that. So, as you know, I've been in Australia since January and then I came over here. It might just be in the weather. Now we're getting better weather over here. But I find people in Australia, like, you know, work Monday to Friday or whatever their schedule is, but they make time to go do things on the weekend, yeah. like get away or go to the beach mm. or go have a coffee with a mate or go. Yeah. Whenever I speak to anyone over here, I'm like, what you do on the weekend? Oh, just doing some work on the house. Yeah. Or just doing <laughs> this or just doing that. And I'm like... Eh? Like where the fuck? Where the fuck is your time? Like yeah, of you're just putting work on top of work. Yeah, and then yeah. when you've got a gap to do something, you yeah. go, "Oh well, I, I, I better do this other job now." It's like, yeah, just sit. I mean, the the, the, the me time is, is is a big decision. You know, when you actually you know say, "Hang on a minute, I'm going to give myself a bit of time and space to actually just like," but but because our self worth's on the floor. Yeah, because you know there's like. Um, there's no confidence. Mm. That can be a big step for people. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So we end up busying ourselves up. You know what I mean? And and maybe spinning a lot of plates or spinning other people's plates. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And and instead of actually, you know, because you know, honouring yourself. I mean, no one was sent to you to honour you. Yeah. Nobody on this planet was sent to you to to to, to get you up out of bed. Yeah, yeah. To look after you and honour you. You know what I mean? And and so it has to start with you. Yeah. It starts with you and ends with you, you know what I mean? And obviously, then within that, you're not giving your power away to anybody else That's gonna th- th- where they're going to make you happy mm. or, they're, or they're going to bring you emotional satisfaction. So if we can get into that space where we become um, um, an individual yeah. and become very good at, you know, uh, uh, at thriving, yeah. you know what I mean? And then there's then a natural co-creation with others. Do you know what I mean? There's this independence which becomes, you know, um, a, 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 a shared transaction with others. Yeah. We just have to be careful we don't become codependent mm. on others. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, and and so it, it is. It, it is a big journey of like actually saying, "Hang on a minute, I'm gonna take a little bit of time out for me." Yeah, yeah. I like to use the term self maintenance. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like this self respect can be difficult to feel into. Yeah. And the self-respect is how do we maintain some sort of, you know, not just self-development, but some sort of natural confidence and yeah, some yeah. sort of glow, you know what I mean? Um, and we have to just, and sometimes it can be really difficult for people to just say, I'm going to say no. Yeah. I'm going to say no. It's going to be a healthy no. We're not very good at saying no. Mm. Do you know 
you know what I mean? Like, you know, so we just say yes to everything because it's the fear of missing out or it's the fear of being judged by somebody else if you do say no. And and it's it's only because we're not very good at learning how to communicate with others. Yeah, yeah. So you might say, oh, you know, you're free or can you do this? Say, I, I can, but not right now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Or I'm glad you've asked, but I can't help you there because yeah, yeah. I'm in my own flow. But I, I'd, I'd love to help you. But can we schedule in where it yeah. works for the both of us? Bang, straight away. You're in a win-win culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, that's practice. But again, there's this, this, this practice of maintenance. And it really, like, so many people wait to be on the floor, totally stressed, that's totally it. in a place of desperation, desperation and despair, and then they go, I need a holiday. Yeah. Or I need a retreat. And it's like, hang on a minute. Every day can be a holiday. So true. If you manage your time better... It's a big thing I do when I'm helping coach people. It's like, I actually help people to manage time. Yeah. And when, they, you know, from 17, 18 hours a day, what are you doing with this time? You know what I mean? Where in that 17, 18 hours a day of your waking moments, have you got a bit of me time? Yes. Whatever that me time is, you know what I mean? What lights you up? What, what, what brings you joy? You know what I mean? Whatever that is. And you go, that's my time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Know, do you know what it is though? I, I said this to someone, to, well, I'll say it. Are you putting out fires? Are you putting out fires or are you getting getting what you want to get yeah, done yeah, that day? Yeah. There's so many people who work in roles, like you're talking with, you know, business owners or clients or whatnot, and they, they, they deal with other people. Yeah. They're not actually doing what they want to do. They're just putting out fires all day. Yeah. They're just like, dab that out, dab that. And then when it comes to shit, I've done nothing this yeah. day now. And then they get worked up. Well, they get angry. Yeah. They become polarized and reactive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, you know, and, and we become snappy then because the mood, you know, there's this inner anger. You know what I mean, and then we be, and then we 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 project that anger yeah. onto the world, onto the people around us, the people who love us the most. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So there's this like mood, and that mood just turns into a temperament, and 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 we have to capture ourselves in that mood and say, "Well, hang on a minute, I'm moody. What can I and, and can I honor this my own needs?" Yeah. And when we begin to honor our own needs, and you know, get these healthy boundaries in place, and and then create some daily habits that brings about some connection. Like, it's not that hard, yeah. do you know what I mean? You know, but it, it was, it's also connected to self-worth. Mm. Self-maintenance is self-worth, you know, and, and it's like every day we brush our teeth. We don't even think about it. It just happens yeah. somewhere in the morning we brush our teeth. We're maintaining yeah. our, our oral hygiene. But what are we doing to maintain some sort of natural connection? Yeah. You know what I mean? What are we doing to upgrade our life, to yeah. to elevate our mood? To, and, and when we do that, when we manage time, create space for me, what happens is, Self worth goes up. Yes, we're so depreciated. We're on the floor. Mm. Self worth goes up a little bit. When you do it again, boom, it goes up again. And all of a sudden, you feel worthy. Mm. You know what I mean? There's a worthiness you appreciate. You know, and you're maximized now. You know what I mean? And then, and when you do that, when you're more maximized, chances are you're more neutralized. So true. You know what I mean? Because when you're minimized, you're polarized. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So you, you know, you're up the wall. And then when we're polarized. We, re, you know, the, the world loves people who are polarized. You know what I mean? Because you'll reach them for instant gratification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're prone to more addiction, whatever that is. You know what I mean? Because it's the fake love. Yeah. It's the yeah, instant. Ah, yeah. oh, I need that. You know what I mean? So you know, the the, the the work is when you take a look at the culture you're in. Yeah. What life are you living? What fires are you putting out? Mm. Where's your, you know, where's your, where's your own self care? Yeah. Build build that you know in a landscape of 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 of, of natural confidence. Mm. Just manage some time. You know what I mean? Start small though. Yeah, start small. Start Don't small. Go, yeah. People go fucking crazy too Straight quick. To the thing. Yeah, all or nothing. Like that same fucking. And they try and do a three sixty on the life. It's like nah. You know, if you get up at eight o'clock in the morning, don't sign it up at five and fucking go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Just get up at half seven. <laughs> yeah. Just get up at half an hour early. <laughs> small steps, man. And these small steps become the 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 compound over a yeah. period of time. That's the thing, right? It's so in, so uh, you know, thing you're saying this to man is because like they compound over time. But it's like even like little things. What what time do you go to bed at night? Go go half an hour earlier. Yeah, yeah. Or put the or you know, cut your phone off for a certain time. It's an evening routine for me is even more important yeah. than a morning routine. Yeah. And, I, and I've, I've come to work that out over a period of time. I'm, I'm going through a process at the minute where I'm invested in my sleep. Yeah, you know powerful, what I mean? Man. In my sleep. And and, I, and because I'm so invested in it, um, it's it, I'm, I'm, I'm tweaking a few, you know, I'm, I'm just tightening the screws. Yes. And what that looks like for me is like, you know, that last hour of the, of the day, I'm off the phone. Yes. You know what I mean? I'm getting off the screens 
you know, I, I've been on the screens all day, you know what I mean, in one way or another. So, like, get, I'm getting off the screen, I'm setting that boundary. Now, I'm not under the covers like that a few more minutes yeah. on Instagram. Like, for, I'm just like, right, I'm off that screen now. And, and you know, I play some nice music. Nice. And then I've got a sauna in the house, so sometimes I'll have a sauna in the garden or a cold tub or sometimes nice. a hot bath. You know, get them, get that magnesium in the bath, you know what I mean? I'll take a couple of melatonin, you know, yeah. gummies. They knock you out. Yeah, they knock you out, do you know what I mean? And yeah. and, and I'm, I'm just telling the body, all right, you're, you're, you're prepared to go to bed now. Yeah. Let's, let's focus on a dreamless rest. Let's focus on some good sleep. And, you know, I tend to get in bed between 10 and 11, mm. you know what I mean? From nine off nine, pff, phones off, phones off, no screens, just like disconnected. I'm offline now. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then like there's just this natural, and then literally, you know, um, I'm, 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 when I'm getting into bed, the body's just like mm. it's settled. You know, the nervous system's not rattling. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm not in the head. I'm not like you know up here. Yeah, you know, I, I've like right, I've sorted That's everything. Nice. There's nothing else I can do. I'm prepared for a good night's sleep. And, and then, then, after a good night's sleep, I'm naturally getting up. I say it's at the minute, like, this, it's because it's lighter now. It's good. How good is this? It's lighter, man. I haven't seen this in eight. Look, I'm I haven't up at seen like it. It's like 6 a.m. now. The light, later nights, because it's obviously light till late. Yeah. That's, that's the thing that's puzzling me because I'm like, oh, it's only early. And next thing you know, it's like 9 30, oh. 10 o'clock. You're like, what the heck? You watch going on here. <laughs> and then you I wake was, it up and yeah. it's, it's light. Yeah. I mean, I, I have a few just. Small little things, they just work well for me, do you know what I mean? Even like fresh air, mm. I just leave the window open a little bit and I just get that fresh air yes. coming through, do you know what I mean? But the bo- I get the, the, the room as dark as I can. Yeah. And then I, I'm good to go and I'm sleeping great at the minute. Nice. And then and then I'm up in the morning and I just have a nice morning routine. That first hour is mine. Yeah. I don't really hit the socials, you know what I mean? Nice. I check the phone if there's any, you know, inco- you know important messages. Yeah, Otherwise, it's like, right, that gets left. I'm downstairs, I, I, I'll, do, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have a shower. You know yeah. what I mean? I just have a shower. Um, most of the time it's cold. Yeah. You know, and then I'm downstairs. I've got. I'll do some meditation and breath work. Sometimes a bit of movement, bit of shaking. Nice. You know, um, I'll get my feet on the earth. I go in the garden. Yeah. I'm just like I'm just connecting. Do you nice. know what I mean? Um, first drinks always you know hydration. Nice. So it's like herbal tea, um, yerba mate, whatever. And then um, and then after about an hour, you know, I'll probably fill the dishwasher or empty the dishwasher. And I like to hoover up as well. It's like I've got this thing about, yeah. you know, nice nice carpet, nice, nice lines man. in the carpet, you know. Love that. <laughs> and then like I'm out the door then with the dog, you know what I mean? I've got yeah. a dog, so you know, I'm I'm out the door. And then I'm in the park then, you know, like I'm in Sefton Love Park that. in Liverpool and I'm connecting to nature and I'm I'm totally relaxed. I'm getting my steps in, I'm having loads of fun, I have a coffee then. You know what I mean? Like now an hour and a half, that's my first coffee. Yeah. And it's, it's, I might have a couple of coffees a day, but like that boom. That's your one. That's me, but that's me, me coffee. Um, I'm with the dog. He's doing his thing. I'm doing mine. I'm connecting on socials. Yeah, yeah. I'm now online with the world. Yeah, you know what I mean? On. I'm on. I, I'm in. I'm ready to re- meet an audience. <laughs> I, I'm after it. I love it. And then within that, you know, I'm taking my daughter to school and, you know, and, and I'm catching, and I, and I like I like connecting with people. So, you know, I'll say a couple of friends, let's meet up, let's get in the park. Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes if anyone who's struggling, do you know what I mean? I just say, listen, I'm going to be in the park. Come and have an hour with me. We'll have a walk and, yeah, you know, we'll just, just check in. Um, so it's, it, I love that face. So them, them, that like the first couple of hours, it's pure self care. Yeah. And then I'm off the gym. Then you know the dogs are this are, are this piece. I'm I'm still in the me time. Yeah. I'm into hour three and I'm on the me time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm in the gym. I'm with my pal. You know we're having a great workout. I'm getting the blood pumping. Yeah. You know I'm 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 vibing. And then you know there's you know we're in the sauna. You know man time. The me time, but now it's man time, it's bro time, you know. Yes. And then you know I tend to go for breakfast most days, you know, because I'm worthy. I'm like, okay, we're going for breakfast, yeah. Let's go and have a good breakfast. So I'm eating, I'm hearty, yeah. getting that first meal in like eleven o'clock, half nice. eleven. And then you know, th- and then the, I'm well into the day. Then you know, whatever that looks like. If I've got some one-to-one clients, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I have to I'm maybe check in with, with my admin or I'm, I'm in with my marketing guru and. You know, just and, and or I'm speaking to the guys about men without masks, and you know we're always planning and yeah, yeah. We're always keeping checking in. Class. And then I'm in then, and I teach meditation. You know, three nights a week. You know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, um, and yeah, I'm just in flow, man. Love that. You know what I mean? I'm on purpose. When people say, "How are you getting?" I say, I'm in, "I'm in flow. I'm in a flow, and I'm all, and I feel like I'm on purpose." You know what I mean? Well, how much of that day already you've just given to you? That's it. But like yeah. you said, it's a starting small, and then starting you- small. But then you've created this life. Yeah. You've, but I love that because it's, 
I don't know how, how much older you are than me, man, but it's, it's the version, this is what people want, X, Y, and Z, but it's like, my routine is very similar to yours in the morning, like, get up early, yeah. you know, go f- go get some fresh air, because there's a petrol station down the corner, so yeah, I'll always yeah. go walk to him, Yeah. and then the funny thing about this, with so the petrol station, I noticed, no one says, all right, mate, what's happening, yeah. blah, 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 so, next thing, then, found out this n- the guy's name, he's Indian, Yeah. every morning, I go, what are you Connect grateful him. for, boss? Yeah, what's happening, brother? So I said, what are you grateful for? <laughs> and I don't leave him until he says it. <laughs> Brilliant. First time he met me, mate, he was like, "What are you on about?" Yeah. And then but now he's he, like, he's like, yeah. he's actually, he's he knows he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> but we can make it. You know what, Ollie? Like, we can make an impression on other people's lives. Yeah. That's what gets me up out of a bed as yeah. well. You know what I mean? Like, you can cause an effect. Yes. In others, do you know what I mean? And and it's just these these little snippets yeah, yeah. of connection. You know what I mean? Whether it's with like with a with a stranger in in, yeah. in the petrol station. Do you know what I mean? Or you know whether you're with a client mm. or you're with a friend around a park, like you know presence and connectedness, and you know it's precious, it's sacred. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, I, I'd like to think that you know if it did, if it did, whenever we go, we don't know when we're gonna go. Whenever yeah. I pass, like people are like, yeah, you know what? He made an impression on my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Full of energy. That's you know, it. just add a vibe, but it, but it, but the energy is not. It's not fake energy. No, it's just natural enthusiasm. Hundred percent. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm in for it. I love that. I love that. And that, yeah. But there's the thing. It's the key. Um, the curiosity and just stop thinking about ourselves all the time. Yeah. Be curious about them. About what, what's, what's going on? What's news? Yeah. Have you got partner? Have you got this? Have you yeah. got that? And like, I found out from this guy now. His missus is about to drop, so mm. she's gone to India to be with her family. Beautiful. You know, just uh, wh- where does he live? Yeah. You know, just little just things. questions. Yeah. When we ask open ended questions to others, how are you getting on? What's the life for you? What are you grateful for? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like you, you're getting people to contemplate and, and awaken yeah. and ponder. You know what I mean? And, and and that then is it becomes magic for people. Yeah. Because you're helping them to turn the gaze back on themselves and and, and, and then feel into what's alive for them. Mm. You know what I mean? And then you're giving them a container to express it. So true. And it's like, wow, you know, it, it's a big part of how we connect with others. Yeah. I've learned how to use these t- tactics and techniques to connect. Yeah. Ask questions. Yes. Ask open ended questions. Show interest. Do you know so what I mean? True. You know, and and, and 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 then it builds rapport then. You know, you build this yeah. like ah, we feel there's an us feeling. Yeah, ah, we're in this together now. You know what I mean? And 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 that oh, that's just the magic of life. But that's half of my job. I found now is just asking open ended questions. questions, and but caring, showing yeah, yeah. empathy, yeah, showing gratitude, and showing that you, because by the end of like you talk about with Molly, you like, a she's a she was a client, but now she's a friend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it, it, this is the big part in coaching. You're just asking the right questions. Yeah. And you just you, you're just finding where someone's at. Do you know what I mean? You're finding out where are you at here. You know what I mean? And 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 what needs some attention. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like ah, okay, it's with your partner, you're struggling. Ah, it's in work with your boss. You know what I mean? Ah, it's with yourself. Yeah. And you're just seeing where people are at, and then you can get focused. Yeah, yeah. And say, okay, let's use some tactics here. I mean, I use just a lot of universal a lot of universal principles to really just help, you know, you're finding out where they're at and you're able to tailor, you know, a, a culture for them to upgrade. Yeah. But, you know, I just, the tactics work across the board. Yeah, man. Do you know what I mean? And so there's this, there's, there's, there's these practicalities that you can bring to the table. Yeah. And no matter who you are and what label you've got and where you're at in your life, yeah. these methods work. 100%. Let's talk about another part, though. Yeah, let's I'm get curious. in there. I know, yeah, we could keep going all you know, day. So I know, I'm like, because I can talk all day and I know you come on. <laughs> but I love it, boss. But is, do you want to talk about Peru? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, brother. Okay, let's so... Let's um, break it in, the intro to it, though. So I've, um, I, I'm have i a facilitator on um, on a wonderful organisation called Men Without Masks. And um, it, it's a f- initially, it's a five-day retreat. Mm. Um, and it's based around, like, the, the, the four archetypes... You know, the king, the warrior, the magician, and the lover. And the market types become a map mm. for us to really understand our behavior, you know. And it comes from Jungian psychology as well. So, you know, there's a lot of credibility to these maps. And uh, we've been doing that. And when I say we, me, a guy called Craig White, mm. who's the main facilitator, the, the, the founder of Memory Out Masks, um, and the team, which is uh, myself, uh, a breathwork um, psychotherapist called Matt Gunn, um, a uh, another breathwork practitioner and a um a marketing specialist named Johnny Hunter, and um and and a, a guy a guy called Dave Orcott who is just tried and tested in life like a a nature guy, 
Um, he's also, you know, got incredible unique gifts that he brings to uh, to the, to the retreat, and so we've got this bond, the five of us. There's some extended, you know, team members, but that is the core, you know, of our group, and we all bring, you know, different unique elements to the retreat, and um, and so you know, we hold this five day immersion in an incredible place in Skipton called Broughton Hall, yeah. and um, it, it's connected to um, a thousand years of um, of history. Within this, uh, within a family called the Tempest family, and what they've done is they've they've actually it's now called Broughton Hall Sanctuary, and they're, they're just all about transformation and 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 connection, um, and so we've got a wonderful um relationship with them, and we run like three or four retreats a year, you know, in Broughton Hall this five day immersion, and we take twenty men, twenty two men on a journey over five days, and, and there's a lot of embodiment practices, meditation, um, you know, nature. Uh, breath work, you know, um, um, and understanding, education, um, and just a container for men to just return to themselves, be vulnerable. Mm. Um, you know, we, we do a lot, of, and it's it's carefully, you know, it's very carefully put together. Um, it's saturated with amazing, amazing experiences that give guys an opportunity to release, yeah. to open up, to get back in the body, and to understand how they behave, mm. and also that community, that man time, you know, and, and to feel safe with yeah. other men. You know, we don't feel safe with other men. You know, we, we, we you know, a lot of time we're, we're competing and comparing, and so that you know, coming back and and in, into that journey of manhood and um and and getting that initiation, yeah, it is potent. And so, how this is crystallized, we we um you know we have now a king retreat, and that king retreat is in it's in Peru, so it's a ten day journey, um, and we spend five days, uh, really focusing on. You know the 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 aspects and and the qualities of of the energy of king, you know, which is about self governance, mm. which is about uh, sovereignty, you know, it's about maturity and yeah. father fathering, you know, um, and 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 yeah, we put an, an incredible retreat together. Mm. We found this retreat center um about an hour away from Pisac, and it's in the mountains. Um, oh God, is it is it Sacred Valley or I can't remember off the top of my head, and it's run by this beautiful family, Peruvian family, and um, and and how they put this retreat center together is incredible, mm. five star, right in the mountains. The food is organic; it's grown on 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 the land, um, and so we 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 uh, we had this five day immersion, yeah, yeah, um, and it was just like wow, Peru itself, the culture, the people, especially like in Pisac and Cusco. Um, they just seem to work for each other. Yeah. They just have this connection to you know Pachamama, which is which is which is which is nature. Yeah. You know what I mean? They also have this like the, 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 a lot of like Christians out there, so they have this like, internal faith to 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 you know um, to Jesus, but they have like this external sort of connection to um, to the earth, mm. and it's like a incredible blend. Like I felt held, I felt you know connected. Um, and yeah, I was nourished c- deeply by 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 Peru, mm. um, and by you know the, the the very vibration there. So it was five days in this retreat center, um, you know all matters related to you know going deep, getting in there, um, you know facilitated by five facilitators, um, and then after that we we did a pilgrimage to Machu Picchu, mm. you know we did the classic Inca Trail, uh, it was forty five kilometers in four days, Lift, um. Yeah. So like th- that alone is is a journey in itself. But we'd really built this container for the first five days, and then there was four days, you know, like offline in the mountains. There was, tw- you know, there was there was five facilitators, nineteen guys, twenty, you know, and the twenty four of us. Then we had four guides, twenty sherpas. It was like fifty men. You know what I mean? It was a force, Class. and um, yeah, it was like ten, eleven kilometers each day, and it was deeply transformational incredibly challenging yeah, yeah. um and, and we 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 didn't know when we were booking it but it actually fell on um on easter weekend oh, wow. uh, so like good friday you know we had this we had this uh it was our second day into you know this this adventure and um oh man it was one of the most difficult you know walks i've ever done in my life but the most liberating wow. and we got to this place called dead woman's pass it was 4200 meters above sea level and um yeah it just this this the mountain just just strips away your bullshit you know what i mean like wow and so much like revelation and and rawness and it was organic and then um, bonding you know bonding with men bonding with nature like that that trail alone is is special wow. you know very special 
Um, and yeah, I, get, I have to give thanks to the you know to the guides. They took us on you know an incredible track, wow. kept us safe. You know, and and and, and it's very professional as well. You know, you, you, you get to the campsites all set up. You know what I mean? You know, so we were just like get there. We were getting fed. Um, you know, and and it was um, it was just a a, a trip like beyond epic and I don't use the word epic you know what I mean and it was just beyond epic yeah. and um, you know day three you know more walking and then day four you know we got up at two o'clock in the morning and just before I talk about that last day like you know you're above the clouds do you know what I mean you know like th- th- there's you're on the edge of the planet mm. it was just there was just this like vast yeah. expansion do you know what I mean and it was a mirror it was just a reflection of like what's inside of us, you know wow. what I mean? And this this opportunity and capability that we've got as men, as humans, you know. Mm-hmm. And then um, and then day four, we got up at two o'clock in the morning, uh, and we we spent seven seven eight hours trekking down into Machu Picchu in the dark. Wow. Uh, it was just like you know we had our head torches on, we just felt like soldiers, you know what I mean? Just just you know all in rank, mm-hmm. all together, all holding each other accountable, all holding each other in compassion and love. Uh, and then we, you know, we got to Machu Picchu like uh, day four, and um, <sighs> just and, and we'd already you know visited a couple of sacred sites on the way through, and you're just bewildered, you know what I mean? Enchanted, like just like <sighs> it was incredible. Wow. Um, and then yeah, Machu Picchu, um, and then we went round the ruins, and that was like day four, and it was just. I left things on the mountain that, like, you know, parts of me that, you know, needed to come to the surface. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of forgiveness and a lot of openness, a lot of tears. Yeah. You know, and, and it was raw and it was organic. Um, but it was it was a it was a, a, a once in a lifetime experience, you know. Um, and then, you know, we, 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 we integrated that experience. We had a couple of days in Cusco. Yeah. Um, so I was away inevitably for about 18 days in total, me and the team. And um, yeah, it was like, it was just an incredible trip. I feel really fortunate because I get to express my gifts. I get to connect with men, mm. um, but I also get to travel and I get paid in the process. So I'm just Crazy. like, oh, it's win, 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 yeah. you know? And so Peru has, has become now a um, a yearly thing, you know? So we take 20 men every Crazy. year and we take them to Peru. Um, and and it's, it, it is a trip of a lifetime. So our next, our next journey is the 7th of April next year. Uh, yeah, the seven, wow. that's and, and it's already been booked in, and uh, I just I'm, all roads lead to Peru. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I am. Um, come in today though with a different energy, mate. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't put a word on a finger there's on it. There's a though. depth, you know. There's there's a I feel even more like grounded and settled in myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Peru um, was was initiating. You know, there's and and for me, it, it takes time to. To become a man, you yeah. know, it takes experience, and you know, it takes many failures. Yeah. Um, and we we have to actualize, you know, fatherhood, and 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 not necessarily fathering a child, but fathering the world. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think Peru give me that opportunity to to deepen mm. and to blossom. I am, and and yeah, and just getting better. Amazing. You know, I really, I was 39 last week and... Um, Happy birthday. Yeah, thank you. I sent you a message. May the 15th, yeah, yeah. Thank you, brother. <laughs> um, and just feel, um, yeah, I just feel like, I feel like a man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I feel, my internal landscape also feels like uh, there's a maturity there. You know, men, unfortunately, don't get this rite of passage in our culture, in the Western culture, you know, they, or they get an unhealthy rite of passage. Yeah, yeah. So, I, you know, the many men who look like men, but they're still navigating the, yeah. from the psyche of a boy... You know what yeah. I mean, and that immaturity, um, and and that fear of being vulnerable. So true, man. You know, and, and what we do on 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 retreats, we um we we bring men together, we create cohesion, um, and and that flow state, that coherence builds safety, and then and then we, we open up. You know, we almost just each and every day we just stretch. Yeah. We stretch. We stretch. And we just stretch these men. You know, and, and we stretch them beyond that stoic. Rigid, the rigidity, yeah. you know, the fear, the competitiveness, and 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 um, and we go on so many many wonderful experiential processes mm. that just allow men to uh, come home to retain, you know. Lovely. And so Peru's just been um, a, a sort of byproduct of the men without masks. Yeah. Um, it's it, it's it's yeah, it's it's a it's an expansion for our mm. work. Um, and I'm just totally uh, like in awe of, of how Men Without Masks is now 
weaving its way into the yeah. into the collective. You know, yeah. with a lot of people paying attention, and you know, I think not just self care is important nowadays, but and mental health, but men's work, mm. men's work. You know what I mean? And and I think even uh, even a year ago, a couple of years ago, people were like, wow, men's work, what the fuck's all this? Yeah, yeah. But now. People are truly investing, yeah. and we get all more all different men from all walks of life. Do you know what I mean? It's not just men struggling. You know, we get high achievers. You know, we get people who are just looking to expand and develop. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and we, we and we just create this container, and uh, and and I'm so grateful for men without masks. It's, it's almost a heartbeat mm. of, of everything else that we do as facilitators individually. But when we come together and we hold this space, it's like wow. Best part of my job is witnessing. Yeah. is seeing it in front of my eyes men drop into themselves yeah, yeah. and relax again oh, it's just like and it's a nice. it's a dream come true I love that mate yeah, I man. absolutely love I love everything what you're about man I, mm. I've known that from day dot but you sharing your stories sharing what you're doing now mm. and it's like um, how do I say it it's like every year you get older it's like you scratch it deeper yeah. but you're bringing more gems to the yeah, surface absolutely. you know what I mean so yeah. Want to just say before we wrap up, what are you grateful for? I always ask my guests. Grateful for life itself. Grateful for being here. You know, given the opportunity to express spirit. Um, but I'm, I, I think I'm, I'm grateful for my family. You know, more than anything. And um, I probably wouldn't have said that even twelve months ago. You know, I, I think the more I matured into myself and. Uh, I'm truly grateful for the people around me and the people who love me, the people who celebrate me. Yeah. You know, I'm grateful for them. I appreciate them, I appreciate them deeply. You know, my mother, my father, my brother, me, me, me missus, and my child. That's that's me to contain it. You know, it um it, it hits me, and it, it it brings it brings me to joy and tears and and openness. And um so yeah, I'm grateful for them. Grateful for these people who love me unconditionally. Uh, these people who, who who ride for me, you know what I mean? Like you know, they 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 they're the ones who celebrate me the most. Um, but yeah, I I, I just think just being alive is is enough for me, and uh, I'm truly grateful for that. And I just trust that I can express that each and every day and make a difference in the world. Love that, brother. Love that. Thank you so much for jumping. Thank on, you man. so much for much. asking. Yeah. Take care, Good brother. man. All the best. Yeah, brother. Just talk, <laughs> <it while laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that. Just talk, we were in flow, weren't we? Oh, 